Justin Trudeau's Liberals scored another election upset Monday, snatching the British Columbia riding of South Surrey White Rock away from the Conservatives. Gordy Hogg won the riding with 47.5% of the vote, just five percentage points ahead of Conservative Carrie Lynn Findlay, a former Harper-era cabinet minister who represented a neighboring riding for one term before being defeated in 2015. The New Democrat took less than 5% of the vote. It's the first time in 70 years that a liberal has represented any portion of the riding, the boundaries of which have changed a number of times. Story continues below advertisement. Hogg's squeaker victory marks the second upset win for the governing liberals in as many months. They stole a riding in Quebec's nationalist heartland away from the Tories in a election in October. For Andrew Skier, the outcome marks the second election loss since he became conservative leader in May. There was some consolation for Skier in three other federal elections Monday, in which the Liberals retained safe seats in Newfoundland and Labrador and Toronto, while the Conservatives held on to one of their own safe seats in Saskatchewan. In all three of those ridings, the Tory share of the vote increased by anywhere from 2 to 13 points over 2015, while the Liberal share declined. There was no consolation for newly minted NDP leader Jagmeet Singh. His party's share of the vote declined in all four ridings. Only in South Surrey White Rock was the result ever in any doubt. The riding was left vacant after Conservative MP Diane Watts resigned to run for the leadership of the BC. Liberals Watts, a high-profile former mayor of Surrey, narrowly won the seat in 2015 with 44% of the vote, less than 1,500 votes ahead of the Liberal contender. Hogg, a former mayor of White Rock and a former BC. MLA, essentially reversed the 2015 result, eking out a narrow victory of 1,600 votes over Findlay. Story continues below advertisement. Story continues below advertisement. Skier, who campaigned with Findlay twice, had billed the contest as a chance for voters to send a midterm signal that what the Liberals have been doing for Canadians hasn't been working. Findlay dismissed suggestions that Monday's loss is a reflection of Skier's leadership. What I've been hearing is they like Andrew. People seem to enjoy his positive conservative message and his approach, she said in a phone interview, adding that voters were concerned about the Ottawa Liberals' higher taxes and low ethics. She put the loss down to the fact that Prime Minister Trudeau called a snap election in the riding, before she'd even been nominated as the candidate, which cost her a week of the five-week campaign. I just think we didn't have enough time. There was some solace for Skier in the safe Tory riding of Battleford's Lloyd Minster in Saskatchewan, where Conservative Rosemary Falk captured 69.6% of the vote more than 55 points ahead of any of her competitors and an eight-point improvement over veteran Conservative MP Gary Ritz, who had held the riding for 20 years before retiring last summer. Story continues below advertisement.